Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name's John if you're new here, and today we're going to be talking about a little story about my one night stand. <laughs> so if you're interested, keep on watching and we'll jump right into the video. Okay guys, so today I wanted to talk about my one night stand that happened about two years ago. Um, basically, I met this guy on Tinder. We're going to call him Daniel. That's not his real name, but we're just going to call him Daniel because I need to say his name to reference something. So I need to, I need to reference something. We're going to call him Daniel, okay? I met Daniel on Tinder. He wanted to hang out. We ended up going on a date, and it was really nice. We went to the Americana. We went to this fancy restaurant, and we had, I had like salmon or something. I can't believe I remember that was two years ago. But it was really good. You know, we hit it off. He was really cool. I liked him, but I didn't like... Like, I like him, you know, I was like, kind of friend zoning him, I was like, you know, you're pretty cool. So, you know, we ended up having dinner, we walked around the mall a bit, and then we ended up going our separate ways. We talked for a bit, and I ended up getting to a relationship with the guy. The hospital story that I told you guys about, I ended up getting a relationship with that guy around the same time. And obviously we stopped talking then. I was talking to him as a friend, but not as anything else. And so I ended up getting a relationship with that other guy, and you know how, how that ended up. I'll link the video up here if you guys want to go check that one out. Go check it out, it's hilarious. After we broke up, I got broke up with that other guy. I ended up hanging out with the guy as a rebound. He always wanted to hang out, and I never, you know, I always said no. I always denied him and said I was doing something or I was busy. And then he finally asked me again, do you want to hang out? And I was like, you know, feeling bad about this other guy, you know, that I just broke up with. And I was like, you know what? Yeah, let's hang out. Let's let's have some fun. So I ended up going to his house. We ended up basically pre-gaming at his house uh, with a bunch of his friends. It was really cool. It was nice. They were all cool. We had a good time. We ended up going to WeHo. We went to some other club first. I don't know where. I don't remember. It was like on a rooftop bar. It was cool. And then we went to WeHo the strip and we went to like Flaming Saddles and stuff like that. And we had a good time. I remember getting really drunk. And basically, I was so sick to my stomach that I wanted to throw up. And I remember going into the Uber to go home to his house. And I was like, oh my god, don't throw up. Don't throw up in the car. Because it was such a nice car. It was a BMW X5. And I'm like, don't throw up in this car. It's too nice. So once we got home, once we got to his house, I like legit ran out of the car and like puked my brains out. And then he's like, come on, John. Come on, John. He was like trying to pull me to his house. He's like, come on, come on. <laughs> I think he was embarrassed of me just like throwing up and acting a fool. But hey, that's what alcohol does to me sometimes. You know, I can't help it. I don't drink that much. So when I do drink, I, I go... I go OD, you know? This is what happens. Anyways, we went back to his house. I immediately ran into the bathroom right when we got in and I was just like throwing up. I remember being on the floor, just kind of like dying. And you know, I, I think I fell asleep at one point. I felt like I was in there for like an hour, but it could have been like only 10 minutes. And I just remember him locking the door like, like come on, come to bed, come to bed with me. And I was like, all right, cool. Like we're gonna go to bed like, and go to sleep. So, cause I like, I feel like shit. We ended up going to his room. And I remember he was like helping me up and then he, and he, ended up, he, he, he like takes off all my clothes and I'm just like <laughs> I'm like what is happening but I was like so tired I just like passed out and then he covered me with his, the blanket which was nice and then he took off all his clothes and he jumped in bed with me and then he basically we just basically cuddled and I am I hate cuddling like I'll cuddle with you but like when it's time to sleep like get off me because I can't it's not comfortable like I my arm falls asleep I got a stiff neck like it's not comfortable at all we ended up like cuddling like that and I'm just like get off me like I can't like sleep I'm like so uncomfortable it was like so painful anyways morning came and I was like I was like not drunk anymore but I was like very like kind of hungover I guess like, sick to my stomach like I needed to like shit like crazy I went up going to the bathroom taking a shit then went back down laid down and then I was like he started like kind of humping me a little and I'm just like he's like do you want to have sex and I'm just like in my mind I'm like no but in my mind I'm like kinda yeah <laughs> cause I just broke up with that guy and I'm just like yeah, you know what? Why not? Sure. I, I said sure. I was like, sure, why not? <laughs> so I asked him, I was like, do you have anything to like clean myself with? Because like I just shit and I'm like not having it. And I need to clean myself. He's like, he's like, no, I don't. I'm like, do you have a douche? Do you have a water bottle? Do you have anything? He's like, no, I don't. I'm like, how do I clean myself? Like, really? He's like, don't worry. I just have a condom. I was like, okay. So I ended up doing the deed. Um, 
It was enjoyable, I liked it, but it was very messy, and that's not like... I don't like having sex when I'm not clean, it's so gross. He was fine with it, but I'm just like, no, and it was just gross to me, I needed to be clean, but it was just, oh my god. Oh my proudest moment. Some things got on the sheets, and it was just... It wasn't nice. It was kind of unsanitary, and I was just like kind of grossed out because I'm bottoming. I never do it without cleaning myself because like I want to be clean. So, so I can't be, and just was like, mm. Basically, we did the deed, you know, and I ended up taking a shower because I felt like dirty. And after I was done taking a shower, I was like, okay, I'm gonna go. I'm like done, and I don't want to leave. Is that okay? Cool. Like I was like, it was nice seeing you. Like thanks for the good night, and you know everything. And I left. He hit me up like two weeks later. He was like, hey, you want to come over? Do the same thing we did last time? And I'm just like. Yeah, no, sorry. I like romantic connections and I can't do one night standards. I was feeling vulnerable at that point. You know, I just broke up with that guy and I was like, you know what? F it, you only live once. So that's that was why I ended up having that one night stand. I really don't recommend it because it makes you feel like crap afterwards. Unless you are the type of person who does like that stuff, then by all means, go for it. Do whatever you want to do. Have fun. Be safe and have fun. But, you know, for me, it made me feel like crap afterwards, and I was just like, what did I do? Did I leave this guy on? I think I let this guy on, you know, I don't have feelings for this guy. And it just, it wasn't a very rewarding experience as it should have been. My recommendation to you guys is don't have one night stands unless you're absolutely sure you want to, but be prepared to feel like crap afterwards if so, because if you're like me, who you like kind of like an old soul, it's not gonna work out for you the best. We kind of talk on and off here and there, but we're just friends. As I mentioned in my previous video, it's the gay guy that tries to get with you. So it happens in the community a lot of the time where you just try to be friends with someone and it doesn't end up being that way. But all in all, I'm not ashamed of what I did. And, uh, I'm not uh, really pleased with what I did, but I'm not ashamed of what I did. It was a growing experience, a learning experience. And you know, I wouldn't take anything back. Um, I had a good night. To say the least, I had a great night. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Uh, if you liked it, please give it a huge thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe to my channel for more content. I try to post regularly now, so yeah. Don't forget to follow me down on my social links. My links will all be linked down below. I have Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. I'm more active on Instagram, so follow me on there. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. And remember, never give up. And I will see you all in the next video. <laughs> Bye.